Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. We're back in the shop today to do some woodworking with the CNC router. Today's project is a little unusual. It's a puzzle tray. What's a puzzle tray? Ralph Bagnell designed it and it's very popular, I hear. I'll tell you what it's for while we're building it. As with any CNC project, it always makes sense to run the programs on scrap lumber to be sure they are working well. And even though it drives our CNC expert Ralph Bagnell crazy, I like to use carpet tape to help secure the pieces that are being cut. I chose to make this tray puzzle from Baltic birch plywood for a couple of reasons. First, I had a bunch of drops from a previous project that would work great for the pieces. And second, I was a bit worried that solid wood expanding with seasonal humidity would make it so the pieces no longer fit together. I also had an idea for finishing the pieces that would look really cool. There are six different puzzle pieces identified as A through F that make up this puzzle tray. There are free downloads of the six .tap files so that you can make each piece. We also have all six pieces available in a free PDF downloadable format so that you can print them out and then scroll saw them if you prefer. I found that sanding the edges of the pieces made them slide together better when they were done. You have plenty of time to work on that particular task as the next piece is being cut out on the CNC router. Once you've got all your parts cut out and you figured out that they actually do fit together, you know what time it is? It's time to sand. Can't get away from it. As I said before, I used um, birch plywood for this, Baltic birch plywood, which doesn't have a really great grain. And the other consideration that I had was that if this is going to be used with food, it would be good to have a nice surface to clean. What kind of finish to use then? Well, shellac breaks down with alcohol, so that wouldn't be a great finish, but lacquer is good. At the same time, the grain is kind of boring on this. What, was I, what, what, what should I do about that? I came up with a finish where I mixed some amber shellac, a little bit of amber shellac with a bunch of uh, denatured alcohol, made it very thin, and then I just washed down the pieces of birch. I wanted to get the grain, the uh, edge grain, the, the, the layers nicely sealed in. I wanted to get a little bit of coverage on the face grain. You can see how thin this is, it just runs right off. And it dries super quickly. It doesn't seal completely, and I don't want it to because I'll show you what I'm going to do later. So now I've got a few more of these to do. After the shellac is dried, remember I mentioned something about lacquer? Well, you can get spray cans of lacquer, and this is a white lacquer. I'm going to get a pickled appearance by using this on top of this partially sealed birch. I don't know if you can see it, but the grain of the wood is still popping through, but there's a nice white patina on top of it. And it will seal the wood just in case we get some alcohol spilled on it or some food. It's a great, little, it's a great look for this kind of uh, uh, treatment. You need to do one more thing, because what happens if lacquer gets stuck up edge to edge with lacquer? Sometimes it can stick together and it can weld. Um, also, I just want to bring out a little bit more of the yellow uh, amber from the shellac, so, I'm going to, so I want to polish down through that, um, that lacquer. And so to do that, I take a, an abrasive pad with uh, beeswax on it, and I apply the beeswax all around, especially on these tabs and the edges that will be joined together. Keep them from welding together later on. Um, if they're just stuck together and sit there for a long time. The wax will keep that from happening. So rub this on, polish it down just a little bit. It also takes off any little nibs in the surface and it makes it feel really great. And then take a shop towel, wipe that off. 
feels great. It slides together really cool and it looks great. So that's our project for today. It's a puzzle tray. You can put, uh, use this as a tray to hold hors d'oeuvres. Put your wine glass, hang it in here, carry it around, look very groovy. It's made from Baltic birch plywood with a whitewashed finish. We did it with the CNC router. I hope you enjoyed watching it today and you learned a couple of things. There's free downloadable programming for each one of these six pieces. And if you want to do it the old fashioned way, there's uh, PDF files, uh, outlines of each one of them. You can scroll saw it out and you'd have it just as well. That's it for here. I'm Rob Johnstone with Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.